it is still B okay do you know why it's still B because they're part of the same assembly now why didn't they choose R I'll tell you why I didn't choose R because this little part here is R so now we have uh, we have uh, uh, an, uh, a button here oh, where is it I, I never use it often but it's here somewhere mm. check for oh yeah 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 mark main part of assembly so if you click that uh, and then uh, you can pick an assembly so I pick this assembly I can pick either this or that okay right click and then the blue one the one that appears blue is the main part of the assembly okay now this video is gonna be just a little bit longer because I've got a little more to explain on this so I'm gonna add another channel here okay as you can see my drawings are very very ugly but you know this is what we want we want the ugly drawings okay I'm going to connect those I'm going to weld those together and uh, we'll give this one uh, oh, hang on. we'll give this one naming we'll give this one just a simple uh, column and my columns are set to C okay so now uh, we can uh, number that again uh, okay now uh, my the, this channel I've added is now part of the assembly but it still assumes the B1 that's cause this is the main part and it follows what the main part uh, what the main parts assembly prefix is so now if this was the main part then everything would have a R here now the question you're going to ask me or you probably already asked yourself in your head uh, which I'm gonna answer right now is uh, what if I want to make this the main part or that the main part what do I do that's a good question first of all I'm just gonna get rid of the color in there and then uh, this is one to check and uh, this is the one to change the, the main part so now I want to make the main part the angle so I click that button I click the uh, uh, the angle that I want to make the main part which is R if you remember correctly uh, right click okay then just number everything again okay now everything is numbered now you see here everything now assumes the R okay this is the R assembly so uh, I hope that demonstration is very clear I think it was clear to me while I was explaining it so you know uh, I hope that makes sense for you and again if you want to check what's the main part we click that button there and just pick any any object in the assembly I need to show you the blue one which is the main part so that's how you change main parts and all these have their own individual single single parts but when they come together they now form an assembly okay when you weld them together or bolt them together in the shop okay now very good now some of you are wondering uh, okay this video is taking just a little bit long okay 13 oh okay I'll be, uh, okay I'll be quick uh, say you go in here and you want a role model that's not there okay to create that role model now uh, what we're gonna do is go to the home tab I'll be quick here uh, management tools okay real quick and this process requires the restarting of advanced steel so it won't pop up right away but you, when you try it at home it will okay so go to object property uh, editor and go on to raw models click anything then just click new and then you add a new raw model say uh, oh I don't even know what to add I've got everything uh, jam supports okay I'll, 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 I'll get rid of this one but you know just add the name there say uh, 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 oh crap what am I gonna give it I'm blank I'm blank not even the okay we'll just say toe okay we'll call it the toe okay and uh, uh, as what kind of objects 
usually you just want to go all objects because it changes you know you can use the toe you can use an eye beam to create the toe or you can use uh, uh, an angle or there's so many things you can use so it's best just to go all objects when you click apply and you close that it won't apply right away so if once you restart advanced steel and you go in here and go to naming and go down you're going to find toe in here okay now uh, actually I'm gonna split this video into two because I gotta record I, I gotta say something that I'm gonna do in the future now so in in the near future what I'm going to do is when I get a small project uh, I am going to uh, do it real time so you can see the difference in my thinking and uh, you know it to stimulate your thinking and uh, it doesn't matter if you're better than me or I'm better than you it doesn't matter who's better than who it's just it helps you visualize uh, and you know it it also gives you a good idea of how to uh, connect objects like where you would use uh, uh, where, you, where, where you would use a different command say I'd use cut cut uh, beam here someone else would go in and use the trim extend okay so it just gives you an idea of the different uh, kinds of ways you can do things and it it's really good I learned I learned something from you know a guy who just started using this uh, a few days ago and uh, just the way his way of thinking is different from mine so he uses different commands and I think it's pretty interesting and it builds on your ability to you know become a guru in the software so that's what I'll be doing the next few videos and uh, uh, I had a uh, rough time with uh, mics and software to record this so this is just a trial version so uh, I had those snags but uh, now I'm back in the game let's uh, continue to you know make history YouTube uh, uh, this is the end of my part 2 video and uh, uh, I just wanted to add on a small addendum because I have restarted my uh, AutoCAD and now I'm going to demonstrate uh, if you remember uh, the toe we spoke of should now pop up in here okay hang on a second oh there it is okay there it is so after restarting uh, your new acquire your new uh, role model will have been made YouTube.